Someone asked the other day, very close friend, has enlightenment enhanced your life? And my reac reaction was, I don't understand that question. Because life is infinite. And when you say your life, it is like a shortened life, a singular web, a singular sp span of the spider's web, you see. And to understand life before and in comparison with life now that is the thing that you lose you see but it's a great loss because you can't lose your memory or your family or your name or the things that you were born into that is not part of enlightenment that is simply the the background story to life experiencing itself appearing as different waves or frequencies or essences or smells or love you know in the foreground that's all that's happening you see in the foreground there is a a suggested appearance that there's a figure and within this figure somewhere lies this story this thing that is happening that is taking place that involves all the people that you had before and the same people that you have now and it's very light and free and sometimes fragile and sometimes some of the memories are so overpoweringly beautiful that you find yourself in tears you know at the birth of your baby at your marriage some of the things that you take for granted when you're you have not experienced this enlightenment because this was taken for all these experiences were taken for granted before this happened yeah I got married yeah it was great wonderful day now it's like I love my wife I am my wife so there's no loss of memory no loss of what was before everything that was before is enhanced it is heightened bliss so the answer to the question was yes it has enhanced what I already had and we say it makes you more aware of what you had you appreciate what you had you appreciate that simple things in life you no longer look for anything because there's nothing superior to that you see first kiss with your wife is as superior as seeing the pyramids in Egypt equal you know I'd say my wife is better <laughs> in case she sees this But you still experience the, the same things. You still experience the same things. People arguing in work, you getting caught up, tangled up in this, in this egoistic, fake, illusionistic life. But it's easy to say, you know what, that happened today. It's okay, you know. I'm not attached to that anymore, you know. You worry about your children. You worry about the physical form. You worry about everything. You worry, worry, worry about illness but you know in your depth that it's going to be okay you know everything is fine everything is perfectly okay beyond all this but one of the things that that became aware when this person this this one asked this question was it wouldn't matter what I say 
to this one even though this one is spiritual or whatever it wouldn't matter what I say to you it is beyond comprehension you know it is beyond mind understanding it is beyond human knowledge it is beyond all that you see there's no point in trying to explain there's no point because there's only a one way looking and this one way is very irregular because the phenomenal thing the majestical thing about creation and existence is there are infinite happenings infinite possibilities every th perceivable thing you can imagine has happened or will happen and the movies show this Star Wars space galaxy galax I don't know all these terms but mobile phones wave bands you know inf invisible satellite dishes everything is, is and this is even meager to what lies beyond But there's one thing for sure, when this body death comes, I will be there, you know. I want to experience this one, you know. Not immediately. <laughs> when life says it's over, I want to be there, you know. I want to see this transition. I want to see what I've already seen. But in a more clearer state without this body and this emotions getting in the way that sounds very sadistic or unhuman but I'm not wishing for anything you see everybody dies every body dies or fades so when it comes, it will come. But I want to be there, you know, fully be there. I was there when ego died, and it was bliss. To the infinite state of bliss. So blissful that the one showed up, you know. Not in full form. <laughs> By any means, you know, I wouldn't be able to speak. But of ego death, which is just an invisible force of energy mind, can be destroyed in a blissful state, then something great must happen when this body goes. Something great will happen. Something great has already happened. There's only greatness, you see, every moment of this day is greatness. Let me finish with this, you see. Another question was asked was, how can you make it more quicker, you see? How can you make this transition to being a suffering person into this free, liberated nothingness? How can I make it quicker, you see? Well, of all the videos and all the practices and everything, there may be a common theme and the common theme is you know whatever happens in your life whatever happens be it on a moment to moment basis or a daily basis or a event based basis you must say thank you And I say you must. No, that is the that is a way forward. You know, you you have choice to make. You know. Thank you. When pain comes, thank you. When suffering comes, thank you. When joy comes, thank you. When your grandchild is born, thank you. You say it automatically. Yeah. Wow. Oh, thank you. Thank you for giving me this gift. You know. But you don't say it. You know, you don't say it when food is in front of you. Thank you. You make a big deal as, as Western civilized people and say, we must say grace. Okay? 
Grace is thank you. That's all. And this thank you must come from here. And it must be genuine thanks. Genuine praise. So when your car drifts off the road, going at a slow speed and hits into a lamppost, you may say, shit. But it has to be followed with, thank you. How many can do that, you see? How many can detach from their prized car, you know, and the thought of it repaired and being marked and scarred and tarnished, and the thought of having to take a secondary car and all these, these story thoughts that come in, all these, oh my God, what am I going to do scenario? And you forget to say, you know what, thank you, because it was there for a reason, you know. And mind after mind will say, I don't know, I don't get this one, I don't understand, I don't think it's what he's saying is true, I've tried all that before and it's never worked for me, you see. It's never worked for me, you know. Are you genuine? Are you genuine? Can you walk out of your car and look at the mark and say, wow, thank you. Look at the lamppost. And say thank you for being there. Yeah. Can you look at yourself and say thank you for no injury? You only thank the things that you want to be thanked, you see. Thank you. Thank God I was insured. Thank God I'm not injured. But that bastard lamppost and that my beautiful car and that guy in the garage is going to charge me so much money because he knows how much this car means to me. And what am I going to get to work with? You know, it's bullshit. This life is shit. You know, everything is going against me, you see. Impossible, you see. To maintain discipline, to maintain trust, to maintain acceptance, to maintain every single moment of your life is difficult. It's a practice, you know. You either want to practice it or you don't want. It hasn't to be for everything, you know. Just be aware. My God, I forgot to say thank you two days ago. I'm out of the thank you way. And you will be rewarded by even recognizing that you forgot to say thank you, you see. Because mine will say, you forgot two days ago. There's no point continuing with it. You know, you fucked up again. You've messed up. You're a failure. No, mine is saying... I'm reminding you that you forgot to say thank you two days ago. So what's your next move? I'll start again. Well done. Well done, you see. The awareness. Awareness is like everything else. When you learn to say the ten times table at school, it took a long time for, you, for it to happen without even effort. Same with saying thank you. And for every single one who watches every one second of this video and deletes and switches off, I thank you. I truly thank you. Not for watching this one. I truly thank you for being aware that someone cares, someone loves you and doesn't even know you. And to the one that dwells inside, I thank you for giving me this, this ability, this knowledge to realize that every single being is equally as important as I am. So when you love yourself, you cannot not love anything else. Because all is self. 
Thank you.